is through, through social media. So we're also challenged to reach to a, a third of the nation, which is like an incredible goal. And a uh, third of the nation we have to inform about tree parents. So one way, again, is by building up a foundation in social media and putting out on a regular basis our material. So uh, essentially, one uh, brilliant young, young man called Ernst Kam Kamga is, is really doing a lot, lot with our social media. He's our social media officer. And he's raised uh, our Facebook following from 4,500 to just recently 100,000. And this was from like October, the uh, year before last. So it's about, about 18 months. And it, it accumulates, it gets faster. So we're, we're giving him, we were giving him about 50 pounds a month in advertising. Now it's about 100 pounds a month. And we had a campaign for the Peace Summit. We were asked through IMAP to do something for the, the Peace Summit for about a thousand euros. Uh, so we, we also did this. And we reached about uh, 2.2 million, so about 2 million people during that campaign for the Peace Summit even though it was after the effect, after the fact. But social media is very flexible. Last year, we were seen by 4.4 million people. And this is, uh, this is the 4 million uh, over a year. So post reach means one person sees one post during a particular time period, this time of year. So of course, one person seeing it once in a year is not so effective. But if you can get them to follow you, then they'll see more of your posts, and you can get more, more regular. So this accumulates. So this year, already, we've had a post reach of, of 3 million. And we hope to double each year. That's our goal. Double. And double in finance, double in social media outreach, double. Keep on doubling. Because it's hard to, to grow that quickly. You need to develop and do things differently and work differently. So, in this way, you know, from time to time, then we can't bombard our teachers, true parents, and so on. But if we intersperse with the other activities, then we can get good material over. And particularly, we've done, uh, we focus on interreligious posts. So, there's Diwali, there's Eid, there's Ramadan, there's Easter, there's Christmas. We catch the wave. <coughs> of the social media when people are interested in the universe and greetings. Through those waves then we get a lot of interreligious followers on, on the post. And then they are much more in harmony with our ethos. So these are some of the posts and you see by uh, thousands of people sometimes. And some of them particular Facebook is a bit it's tricky, but you, if you have a, a statement which is not controversial, then it will get through. You can advertise it. You can boost it. So these are some of the others. Valentine's <coughs> Day. And then these are some more. Through this uh, social media outreach, then Earth and I, this is the uh, group started by Sanjay and Vincent Lin. They approached us to, to help them with their social media. And we've been making a, we've made a partnership with them. We've put them on our website. And, you know, we've helped them promote their events. They've been helping us promote uh, World Environment Day and different ways to this and so forth. Also, we've, we revamped our website. And the website, uh, there needs to be something that can <coughs> attract people. Partly for, for funding reasons, because there you've got an appeal, an appeal for donations. And then, right now, it, it's building up. Uh, but it's something that we will work on, it's a work in progress. But we got approved as a charity, we got approved for Facebook fundraising tools, and our free Google ads. So they will give you thousands of pounds or thousands of euros of free ads if you're a charity. So we're just starting with, with that.
Then, one day, basically, we're all very small groups, but we have good relationships with Ambassadors for Peace. Some of those Ambassadors for Peace are business people who are potential philanthropists, they're potential sponsors. Others are, are just good hearted people, they're willing to donate for good causes. If you want to involve them, I'm Margaret's very good at twisting the um, <laughs> So, Margaret, himself, Joyce, and Rose uh, have been uh, and are working on this. The key point is in engaging with Ambassador for Peace. All of these, we're pitching to, to people. Our, our goal uh, right now, it seems incredible, but our goal is we want to get up to a quarter of a million by, by 2027, because then we can employ second generation to take over. We can employ people to, to take over from us. What are the results? I could want to talk to you. We can mix up the masters, but well, last year we raised 25,000 uh, for our resources. Uh, we had four fundraising events. We raised eight, 2,000 each, roughly. Um, we've we've just started with this digital marketing with different campaigns. We're actually uh, approaching a, a firm which helps raise money from, from public sources. So this consultant is a big one. Writers. So we're going to try to use all these tools, and we're we're trying to find them in different ways. But these different funding streams need to be worked on monthly donors how to, to raise a very solid base of payments each, each month. So if someone puts you on a direct debit, and it's likely they will continue month after month. And that's something you can rely on. Um, and that's the piece. Some of them are pretty close to us. Engage with them. So we made, we have three non-member, non-family federation member, uh, Trustees of our board, and we have uh, five who are our family federation members. Uh, we have uh, at least four patrons now. But recently we made two of our patrons because they were donating quite uh, considerable amounts of money. And they were engaging with our events, attending, supporting a lot. And association coordinators we are looking for or, or have. Uh, or nature's advisors for the different associations. We're looking to, to establish that, but through engagement, then people feel some ownership of what DPF is, and they're willing to dedicate more time and effort and gives us more capacity. So these are, you know, David Fraser, how I said, teaching, David Hammers teaching, and so on. Uh, having education then also helps because our problem is capacity. We want to trust people, and I could have five branches, six branches in the UK easily, but they would all be campaigning on the issue that we don't want to complain on. <laughs> and, and we wouldn't have the capacity to, or the chance to, to stop me without hurting people. So to create and to engage, we need to educate. It all works together in a There's different projects that have been running, and a number of them are really inspired by projects. So this is a monthly, monthly donor letter. I'm not sure which version it is, but uh, this is an example of one. And we can help you with the, the text if you, if you want, do it yourself. And this is what we put on the website to engage people to, to donate and to contribute. Uh, to UPS work. Uh, that's the last one. 